Hi, and welcome to a short Flux demo. In this demo I will show how Orion can become a powerful IDE for Java language, such as Eclipse. It will become that IDE with the help of a Flux project, with the help of a Flux messaging system that will go through from Eclipse pretty much to, to Orion. Um, so on the, on the left we have Orion with some basic Orion workspace. On the right we have Eclipse, so on Eclipse in the workspace we have a Java project. This project is connected to Flux. It has some files and folders under it. So as we can see there is a mytest.java file and folders. And we would like the same content, the same project from Flux to show up in Orion. We'd like to be able to, uh, you know, create new files and folders as well as delete them. We'd like to open Java files and uh, be, be able to edit them, uh, save, load them, and we'd like to get some standard IDE features from Eclipse, such as Content Assist and Problem Markers, and we'd like to get that in Orion, all of it. So let's get started with this, and uh, first we would need to install the Flux plugin into Orion. So we're gonna head to Settings, Plugins, and we're gonna try and install the Flux plugin. I'm gonna paste the URL for Flux plugin. This is it, and we're gonna submit, submit it. And it is installed, and we can verify it by scrolling down to it. So down here at the bottom, Flux. So let's switch to Orion Workspace, and we can see that there is this drop-down button appeared. So that means that there is a mounted file system available in Orion. So this file system is contributed by our Flux plugin. So if we click on it, we see Flux. So let's switch to that file system. And here it is. And we do get our Java project in Orion. Right, so let's open it. And it has the same files and folders as our uh, project in Eclipse does. The exceptions are the files and folders that start with a dot, such as settings, class, pass, and project. Those are uh, hidden files and folders in Eclipse, but they're just visible for now in our Flux integration. They're just physical files and folders, so we do show them for now. Um, so let's try and see if uh, you know, we can do the same things as we can do in Eclipse, such as create new files and folders and delete them. Uh, I'd like to note that all of those changes should be synchronized between Eclipse and Orion, because the project is connected to Flux, so we are the Flux messaging system. All the changes should be synchronized, so let's try and create a new folder. Call it New Folder. And it does show up in Eclipse right here. So let's try and create a file inside of the folder. File and call it something.java. And it does show up in Eclipse right away. So this is done with the Flux messaging system. So let's go and delete, delete that folder. Delete. OK. And it's gone from Eclipse and uh, from Orion. So file system is completely synchronized. Uh, let's try and open the the uh, my test the Java file. So here it is, and there is a problem marker, which is an handled exception. So that problem marker came from uh, Eclipse GDT Java development tools via the Flux messaging system into Orion, and it does show here. So let's try and edit the, the file. Uh, so let's type something system out dot. Note how problem markers are updated as I type stuff into the Orion editor. So, so that's it. Uh, let's try and see how content assist from GDT works in, in Orion. So system dot let's invoke content assist here. 
So here is the content assist. There's plenty of stuff here, but we just need the out. So let's click on it. Dots. So let's invoke content assist again. And here is print to land here. So let's pick that. And works again. Perfect. So let's save the file. Great. So problem worker is updated. Just that. So let's see if those changes are present in Eclipse, if they're synchronized with the Flux messaging system. So we open the file and yes, the changes are here. So let's try and type some, something in Eclipse. So look, as I type it shows up in both in the Orion editor and in Eclipse editor, which is pretty cool because it's Google Docs like editing. So we get problem marker is the same updated both ways, which is pretty cool as well. So I'm gonna just put here works in Eclipse. So now let's try and fix this problem marker. Right? Unhandled exception. So in Orion, if you look at it, we don't really get the quick fix things. We don't get the quick, uh, quick uh, fix feature, but we do get it in, uh, in Eclipse. So we could type try and uh, we could put a try and catch uh, try catch block in, in Orion just by typing, but let's, let's just do it in Eclipse because it's faster by using quick assist. So we'll surround it with a try catch block. And uh, it shows up in both, right? In, in the Orion editor and in Eclipse. Um, so, and, and as you can see, there is a, you know, markers are updated as well. Error is gone and uh, uh, to do marker has appeared. So let us try and uh, declare a variable in Orion. So let it be of type list. So list string and just watch how the problem markers are getting updated as I type. Uh, type the contents in in a Ryan editor. So new array. So let's try and invoke content assist here to get the array list proposal. So and here it is array list. So let's use this proposal. And here we are. So strings and let's make it length five for example. Um, so pretty nice. Uh, we do get an error here, so let's see what the error is. List cannot be resolved to a type. Let's check if we get the same error in Eclipse. And yes, it is the same. List cannot be resolved to a type. So let us. That means we need to import Java Util list, and we can either type that in 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 Orion, or we could. We could just quickly use the quick fix in Eclipse and import it. So let's do that. And here we are. And problem marker is updated in both in Orion and in Eclipse. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it's all synchronized. So let's save the file. Saved. And it's updated in Orion as well. So as you can see, we get the same file system. We get uh, creation of uh, creation deletion of files and folders all synchronized between the two, and in Orion we do get nice ID features such as content assist and problem markers from JDT. Um, so this is just the start. We'll add quick fix and all the other cool ID features from Eclipse in Orion. But for now, this is it. So thank you for watching this uh, demo and uh, I'll see you in the next demo. Goodbye.